What's up YouTube, it's your boy Matrix21 with another sneaker preview. And once again, this is just my opinion, so don't take it to heart. It's just my personal opinion. But before we get into it, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell as well, so you don't miss a video. Also, check, in, check me out on Twitter at Matrix21, and check out my Instagram shop at TDMadeIt, just to see what I got. But uh, but also stay tuned to the end, while I give you my rating for these sneakers. Is it a one, one star out of five, or is it a five star out of five? And also let you know if it's a cop or a flop for me, so uh, without further ado, let's get to it. So today we'll be taking a look at the Puma RS Dreamer in the Blood, Sweat, and Tears colorway. So this Blood, Sweat, and Tears colorway is the second colorway for uh, J. Cole, rapper J. Cole's uh, collaboration or his own signature sneaker with Puma. I really do like this sneaker, this sneaker a lot. To me, the first colorway was a little bit better than this one. You have the mostly all over red. You have some hints of white and some hints of like the clear kind of translucent type uh, outsole on it, which is okay. You have a gray sock liner as well, uh, which also helps break up that whole red, like red October colorway type of thing. But I do like it. I do like the kind of concept behind it. It is a nice sneaker. Uh, like I said, to me, it's not as good as the first colorway, which to me is a little bit better. But I do like that they went with this red and they didn't just go all red. They did break it up a little bit. As you see on the side, they kind of gray or kind of kind of translucent, I think. Uh, Alto comes up to the top, which is pretty nice. And then that white string comes around the side as well. Uh, here's a top down look at it. You have the RS on the, on the top, on the actual tongue with a white Puma. White or grayish, like a light grayish Puma. Also have a red uh, sock line, red insole with a white Puma. Which, uh, Brandon, which is pretty nice. I do like it a lot, like I said. And here's uh, J. Cole's uh, logo on the back, the Dreamer logo, which is pretty cool. I do like that a lot. First time I looked at it, I was like, I don't know if it looks a little cartoony to be on this sneaker, but to me, it, uh, it fits. It's pretty decent. And then it went with a, in a white and black colorway, so pretty nice. Pretty nice. Here's another look at the outsole. Pretty much mostly just gray. It did kind of look like a little translucent, but I think it's just gray. You have like a red uh, circle on it. Puma logo, which is okay, but I think they should have did the cat instead. But to me, Puma shoes look better with the with less branding on it. But uh, it is this is my opinion. So of course these sneakers came out today, August 17, 2020. I'm late. I know I'm late. The price is $125, uh, exclusive to Puma.com and Foot Locker, so pretty exclusive. But uh, like I said, these are pretty decent, and if you were able to get them today, that's what's up. Let me know below if you were able to get them. And let me know if you didn't, uh, you missed out on them. But uh, like I said, a pretty decent sneaker. But uh, I give it a three out of five stars. It is a cop for me because it is the collaboration. It's J. Cole's sneaker. But to me, the colorway kind of throws it off. It's not as good as the first one. But once again, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you know every time I drop a video. This is Major 21. Peace. Talk to you all later. Bye.